I think what we see in Gaza now, and based on a lengthy track record, uh, is the misuse of U.S. arms. And when I tried to raise that issue in the State Department, there was no opportunity for any pushback, no opportunity for discussion, uh, and nor is there at this time in the U.S. Congress. Uh, and therefore, I decided the only thing I could do was to bring my concerns to the public, and to do that, I had to resign. You've described the U.S. backing of Israel as blind support. Why do you use the word blind? Well, I think if you think about how we come at the problem, we ask, don't Israeli citizens have the right to not live under rocket fire? And they do. But don't Palestinians also have that right? Don't they have the right to live safely and securely in their homes? And so I think as long as we've provided the security assistance to Israel, we've come from the position of, with security, we can have peace. If Israel feels secure, that will lead to peace. But that's not at all what's happened. Uh, the security assistance we've provided to Israel has emboldened it uh, to continue down a path that does not lead to peace for Palestinians or for Israelis.